Tulsa State Fair is almost here. The fair opens at 5 o'clock this evening. Vendors are busy putting the finishing touches on the game booths and tents. 2 News reporter Dan Perlman is live at the fairgrounds with more. Dan? Well, we walked around here, and it looks like most of the rides, the tents, the uh, food stands are up and ready to go. One of the rides I want to try out is the Max. It's actually right over here behind me. And as you can see, it's actually still getting built. Uh, don't worry, though. It will be ready by 5 o'clock. The builders will be working here nonstop until this thing is up and running safely. The Max is sort of like a giant pendulum. If you hop on, it will swing you up to 80 feet in the air, and it will do it all at up to 60 miles per hour. It is one of five new rides you haven't seen here before, but the guys operating it say once you try it, you'll be begging for more. There's nothing like it. Uh, get on it. It's an intense ride. Everybody likes it. We have people that ride, you know, two or three times over and over again. So once you get on it, you'll be hooked. Of course, the fair opens at 5 o'clock tonight. Fair organizers tell me that there should be anywhere from 50 to 75,000 people here tonight alone. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. All right, sounds like quite a ride. Thanks, Dan. And if you plan to head to the fairgrounds, remember to park legally. The city of Tulsa is warning drivers against parking in streets and yards near Expo Square. Fines for illegal parking range from $30 to $500. Free parking is available at Expo Square, and free shuttles are being offered on weekends at Promenade Mall, Hale High School, and the TPS Education Service Center.